I'm going to be sharing with you in this video why you are seeing repeating numbers everywhere that you go. Are you seeing 111, 222-333-444-555-666-777-888-999? You're seeing these numbers on license plates. You're seeing these numbers when you're on your phone, when you're checking the time. You don't know what these numbers mean, but you feel like there's some deeper meaning behind these numbers. I'm gonna share with you why these numbers are extremely powerful. And if you decipher the message of these numbers, you will literally be on the highest path that you are meant to be on because these numbers are very, very powerful and have a very, very specific meaning to each and individual person. Now I'm gonna share with you what that means. So if you're new to this channel, I want you to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell because I post a new video every single day. Also, if you want to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, I have a couple spots left for coaching. Just hit the link that's in the description box of this video and apply for a free consultation. So the first thing I want you to understand about these numbers is that they are very, very powerful. Okay, this is your higher self. This is the universe. This is God. This is your angels. This is your spirit guides communicating to you, trying to give you a specific message. Now, the specific meaning behind these numbers is going to be very, very different for each person individually. But the point is that these numbers are trying to communicate something to you and give you a higher message. Okay, so there's a lot of things that you got to understand when it comes to these numbers, but these numbers are trying to tell you something and they're trying to help you expand your consciousness and get out of this heavy ego energy. It's trying to help you move from the 3D to the 4D to the 5D. It's trying to help you expand your consciousness and live your highest path. So the first thing I want to share with you with these numbers is that they are helping you to follow your highest path. Okay, if you're already seeing these numbers, that means that you're starting to become more conscious and that you're not just your ego. You're not just your limited ego sense of self and you're seeing that there's something more to this reality. Now, these numbers are communicating to you and letting you know that you are not alone, that there's something more powerful here. These numbers are divinely guiding you for your highest path because here's the thing is that Every single soul on this planet has a specific and unique journey. Now, this journey is designed to help each person get to the highest level of consciousness and evolve the planet to some degree. By you stepping into your highest path, you end up allowing the collective to expand and grow. Now, these numbers will be signs telling you when it's time to follow your path and you will literally be guided in a very clear way if you just look out like it's not like you have to know like hmm is this is this really happening like can i no there comes a point where the synchronicity is so strong that you absolutely know what path to follow you can be fearless with your path i remember when i took my first coaching call with my client I saw so many license plates that day. That's how I see my synchronicities. I see repeating numbers on license plates everywhere. Now, you might be receiving this communication at a very, very different level, but for me personally, it's always license plates. Like I see 777, 333, 444, specifically when I'm in a high vibration state. Now, when I'm in a very low vibration state, I rarely see these numbers, very, very rarely. If I'm out of alignment, and I don't see these numbers a lot, that just shows me, okay, I need to fix something. I need to change something. Now, these repeating numbers are very, very critical to uh, be aware of because they will show you whether you're following the right path. Now, once you become conscious of them, there's no going back. You're always gonna have to follow the right path because the, they're, I mean, you have free will. You can choose what you want, but the universe, God, the higher power, your spirit guides, your angels will keep nudging you in the direction that you need to follow. And there's going to come a point where your awareness gets so high that it's going to be impossible for you not to follow it, especially after watching this video. So I remember when I took that coaching call, I saw so many numbers. It was very, very magical, very, very mystical. It was very ego flustering, like my ego was flustered. I was shocked. 
I was reactive, I was in disbelief, but I saw it. And this was already two years after I've been meditating and I've already had mystical experiences. But when I took that coaching call, and by the way, when I was in that coaching call, I felt in a very, very high vibration state and I tapped into my deeper intuition, intuition that I didn't even know that I had. I was very present to the moment. It's kind of the state that I tap into when I record videos where I feel like I'm channeling and I feel like I'm being very intuitive and I feel like I'm very connected to the present moment and the oneness and I kind of followed that intuitively and then I took that coaching call and then there was so many synchronicity and in that moment I knew that I'm not alone, that there's a high path that I'm meant to follow and that my path in this present moment requires me to record videos and take calls with clients and help the collective consciousness of the planet grow. Now your path will be specific to you, but understand that these numbers will show you your highest path. It will show you the path that you are meant to follow individually, specifically for you. Maybe you don't have to record videos. Maybe you don't have to take calls with clients like me. Maybe you're a musician, maybe you're something else. But the point is it will show you your highest path to live your dreams and live your highest, most conscious, most fulfilling and path that is meant for you to follow for the greater good of yourself and the greater good of humanity, making it a win-win. When you follow these numbers, when you follow this path, you will be on the path to following the greatest path for you and humanity. See, not just you, but humanity as a whole, because as you may understand, if you're watching this video this far, there is a collective consciousness awakening happening where things are turning and things are switching right now into a new level. And in order to create this shift in the most practical and tangible and fast way is just to follow the guidance. Now, of course, you have free will, but you got to follow this guidance. So the second thing that I want to share with you is that these numbers are affirming to you and confirming to you that you're on the right path. So maybe sometimes you feel doubt. Maybe sometimes you feel like, I don't know what this is. I don't know if I'm on the right path. I feel like I'm stepping into the unknown. Like I was dropping out of school six months ago. I was really stepping into the unknown. It was really, really scary for me, right? But I knew that I had to listen to my intuition and follow my, my deeper intuition that comes from the present moment. Because when I'm very present to the moment, I feel very low fear. There's absolutely no fear when I'm in a high vibration state. And I chose to follow that. And part of that intuition led me to drop out of school. Now, I was very scared to do this. I was stepping into the unknown, right? I was very scared, but then here's the thing, what made this process easier, which is what I don't share with a lot of people uh, on this channel, but I'm gonna decide to just open up to you right now. I was stepping into the unknown, and yes, I was following the present moment. Yes, I was following my intuition, but also, I really did feel like I was protected by something higher than me because when I had these thoughts of like, okay, maybe I should just accept the unknown. Maybe I should step into the uncertainty, right? Because I was reading a lot of The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle and he was saying, accept not knowing, right? Accept letting go of logic, accept letting go of the ego. And the moment I had those kind of thoughts, just synchronicity, synchronicity, synchronicity. It's the universe is telling me, yes, step into the unknown, be fearless. Now, I honestly, like if I'm going to be honest with you, I couldn't do that. I couldn't drop out of school. I couldn't do this if I didn't believe that I had something higher than me guiding me. Like I have faith. Part of my faith is understanding that my limited ego sense of self does not have to figure it all out. You see, I feel like when I see those numbers, I'm being divinely guided. Now, that's what those numbers mean. They're affirming to you and confirming to you that you're on the right path even when you feel like it's kind of unknown and it's scary, as long as you follow that intuition and you follow that high vibration state, that's the most important thing. It's about following what your soul wants in this present moment right now. One moment at a time, taking the next obvious step and action to live your highest path. Now, there's no guarantees here. Life is inherently uncertain. Life is inherently stepping into the unknown. That's where the greatest miracles and gifts happen is when you step into the unknown. What is meditation? You're sitting down and stepping into the unknown. What is dropping out of school and following your purpose? It's stepping out of the comfort into the uncomfort into the unknown. But part of the process of making it more comfortable is understanding that the God, sorry, God, the universe, your spirit guides, your angels want you to follow your highest path, 
Whatever you view as the higher power, whatever label you want to use, personally, I don't put any labels because I feel like all of these words are very, very limiting to what the higher power actually is. I could call it angels, I could call it guides, I could call it God, I could call it the universe, I could call it the higher power, I could call it the awareness, I could call it the formless, and the list goes on. That was seven things that I thought in my mind, just like that. There's probably an infinite amount of labels that I could also replace, but here's the thing is that your ego is not the only thing. Your ego is not the only thing. You're not alone here. And so the third thing I want to share with you is that if you see those numbers, that means that you are in alignment with your desires. If you're trying to manifest something, if you're trying to create your dream life, you see these numbers, it'll be, it'll be proof that you are on the right path. Now, don't take my word for this. Trust your intuition and you will see that these numbers are no coincidence. There is no such thing as coincidence in this universe. There's no such thing as coincidence. There's no such thing as accidents. Everything happens in perfect divine timing. Now, don't take my word for this. Observe these numbers and you will see that these numbers are always telling you that you are in alignment with your highest path and your desires. It's very comforting, very, very comforting. You can use that to your advantage. Use that to your highest potential to create the life that you want. Like I could not drop out of school if I didn't have divine guidance. I have faith. Now, here's the thing is that when I hired my coach, I started seeing like negative synchronicities. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm making the right move. And then here's what my coach said to me as well. He said, Francis, when you're stepping into your power, when you're fully stepping into that intuition of the present moment, you're never going to look for synchronicity ever again to know if you're in the right path. And I was shocked because what that showed me is that yes, I'm being guided. Yes, there's a higher force guiding me. But at the same time, you have the power within yourself. The power, the intuition that led you to see the numbers started off with you. You have free will. You have the power to create the life that you want. You have the intuition. You have the power. The power is within you. Now, I know that sounds cliche, but it is really true. The power is within you. There's nothing outside of you, so to speak, in terms of something guiding you. Now, there is... Paradoxically, there is something outside of you, but also at a deeper level, everything is extremely interconnected and that is your higher self guiding you where you are actually the one guiding yourself to some degree because the power is within you. The intuition you get from the present moment, you don't need numbers anymore to know that, but the numbers are trying to show you your divinity and your power. The numbers will always be there for you. God, the universe, consciousness, awareness, the higher power will always be there for you. But what the higher power wants you to know as well is that you have the power within you as well. And you don't need to look outside of you to learn that. Now, at the beginning of your spiritual awakening process, it might require for you to follow that guidance and follow something that's outside of you. But the truth is that ultimately you will learn that the power was within you this whole time. Now, it's important to understand that what these numbers are also trying to tell you, which is the fourth thing, is that you are not alone in this process. You're not alone. There's something much bigger going on here than your limited ego sense of self. Your little tiny ego, little tiny, little tiny ego cannot possibly understand what is really going on here. And it doesn't need to. When I was dropping out of school, I didn't need to know what I was going to do next. Now, I was being practical. Okay, I was making sure that I was like not going to go on the streets, but I did have enough courage to step up into the unknown and follow my highest path because I understand that there's consequences to both sides. There's consequences to following my uh, the path that you know, is me doing a job that I hate and settling and taking that route. There's also the path where I fall into, where I step into my abundance. I step into the unknown. I take a leap of faith, but I understand that there's consequences of that as well. But I'm willing to take those consequences because I know that there's something more here. This is not just about me. It would be selfish for me not to follow my highest path for the greater good of humanity. That's what the numbers want you to know as well. The numbers, the universe, God wants you to know when you see those numbers that it's not just about you. 
It's not just about your little ego that wants all its own desires, but it's about the higher desire of the universe to expand and level up and step into its true power. You see, the earth is going through a shift and in order for this shift to happen, people need to step up into their life purpose and their soul's calling fearlessly and not allow the opinions of others to do this. Now, uh, people around you might not fully understand these numbers. That's okay. You don't need anybody else. You don't need to prove to anybody else that these numbers are there. You'll eventually come to the conclusion, if you're still watching this video, that you just know. You just have a knowing. You don't need any proof from somebody else. You don't need to. You don't even need to share it with anybody else. Like I don't feel the need to tell anybody. Like yeah, these are numbers. And you see, when you're going through the awakening process, you might want to start telling your family and your friends. That's normal. Eventually, you're just gonna have that deep knowing, that deep knowingness that you are on the right path. Now it's super critical that you watch out for these numbers, that you pay attention to the signs because they're always there. And if you follow these signs you will be on the path to your highest journey to create the life that you really want for yourself and also help the consciousness of the planet expand to what it's really meant to be. So that's all I have for this video. If you want to download my free guided meditation, hit the link that's in the description box of this video. I'll also leave it as a top comment in this video as well. This meditation is specifically designed to help you connect deeper to the present moment and probably allow you as well to have a deeper connection with your higher self and see those numbers because it's all connected with the present moment and connecting deeper to your consciousness. So that's all I have for this video. Have yourself a great day and I'll see you in the next video.